up everyone the script of legend is here and back with another youtube video uh, yesterday we talked about ajit and we talked about him as the, i talked about his uh development skills because speaking from a computer science perspective or a software engineer perspective i would prefer say computer science major perspective because computer science software engineering is specifically one area and software and computer science is learning all the different areas like cybersecurity, da data analysts a little bit, but uh, got some information that services or in other words, IT in there. And then you got the full stack develop. You got full stack development. You got software engineering, of course. And then you got web development. You got a whole lot of everything in there. And I would prefer to go through, go by the, the name, the title of computer science major than a software engineer, especially because I'm not hired as a software engineer, so I'm not technically a software engineer. But anyways, we're going to talk about the three other people that they have listed down here that are full stack developers on their team, but we're going to talk about Shashank. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced your name. I know y'all guys got on me in the comment section down below. Y'all got on me. <laughs> yes, y'all did. Y'all got on me, but I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all getting on me. It makes me want to be better. And it shows that y'all have respect for these individuals, which we should. And I love it when people respect the people, even the people on the back end, just as much the people on the front end. So I appreciate that a lot. Now, Shashank is, Shashank, okay, Shashank, I'm going to go with Shashank, is a full stack developer. I'm going to call him Mr. SP. I'm going to call him SP. SP. What's up, SP? SP is um, from Indore, Madhya Pradesh, India. And he went to Sri G S Institute of Technology and Science, as well as AKS University, Sant Satna. And at, Sant at AKS University, he got a bachelor's in computer, so computer software and media applications. Media applications is like another way of... Um, it's web development, a, a way of saying web development, but not specifically the web designing part of it. And then uh, Sri G S Institute of Science, Techn Technology and Science, he got a master's of computer application. So he went on to get his master's, and then he also got a master's, it seems like, in computer software engineering. So he also got some, you know, some stuff about data structures and uh, algorithms. You, If you... When you go to get a, soft, a degree in software engineering, more nine times out of ten, they're going to say, you know how to do data structures? You know how to do algorithms? All right, we're going to test you on it. Here's a whole course on it. Here's a course on algorithms. Here's a course on data structures. Now you're going to come back, and then you're going to take analysis of algorithms. And then you're going to come back, and you're going to take operating systems, and then that's going to bring you back to data structures and make sure you actually did pay attention in that class. And if you didn't, you about to be up out of here because <laughs> this is college, buddy. But um, he did a project, which is amazing. I, want, I wanted to see these guys do projects. I do projects, but in a project object detection raspberry, raspberry uh, pie. pie. Uh, the object detection is for blind or partial blind per a person. They will have inbuilt camera in their stick which will detect the object and narrate the object name in distinct and distant of the object in real time. So this he created, he was working on a project from January 2020 to September 2020 to help um, to help out the blind and the partial blind with better um, by giving them a camera that was going to be in their sticks, the, the walking sticks to help them navigate where there was going that had inbuilt cameras that would have alerted the person um, and that a object is coming up and then they would have been able, they would have known to move off to the side. So that's really amazing. It also, <laughs> not to be funny, but it, it'll make some people see these blind people and they'll have the stick and they'll be like, and they'll feel like a little buzz that, that they only feel. And they'll be like, okay, this guy is, there's something right here. So I'm going to go the opposite direction. Someone's going to be looking at, look at this person and be like, he's not blind at all. He's, he's not blind. But, <laughs> but anyways, uh, with that, with that out the way, my, my little, 
my little fun moment right there. We're gonna look at his skills and in his and his endorsements, industry knowledge. He, he has he has industry knowledge of data structures, data visualization, and software development, uh, life cycle SDLC, which is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Especially you want some industry, you want someone with industry knowledge and in data structures, tools and technologies, databases, great jQuery, great core Java, good C programming language. Yeah, there's C plus plus C hashtag. Okay, there's C, C plus, C plus plus, which is uh, a more advanced version of C. Uh, C hashtag and CSS. There's a lot of C's out there. But yeah, man. So those are the, some of the, those are programming languages. Uh, TensorFlow, Angular JS. This is like a front end language. Uh, Angular JS is uh, Java, PHP, another um, front end. C and Java are back end. Codal uh line that's one I don't know and now I want to go and learn it. WordPress, Bootstrap, Ajax, good one. Great one, honestly. That's great for um that's that's a front end one. Cascading style sheets, which is the long way of saying CSS and HTML5. And if y'all want to know what HTML5 stands for, um hypertext markup language five. Five is the it's like saying which version of it it is, and that's the most recent version and from what I what I can remember. I believe it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, then you got SQL that works with databases right here, and then he's got the web development. You know the team got the beautiful website, man. You know they all. You know it's a hey. It is some. I I've noticed when looking at their uh LinkedIn account. That it they when they was like looking at the developers they was gonna have they said, can you make websites? How good are you though? You can make websites, bet. <laughs> All right, now nah, skits over. He was a web developer at GoMap for um he was at well a web developer and he had a web developing internship at GoMap from June 2019 to September 2019. So basically means he was while he was in college. Um, he got an internship during the summer. He did a summer internship program while he was getting his master's at Sri GS Institute, and did the internship and got the um did an internship for GoMap and worked on something. And he also got a certificate from them. We'll check it out real quick. You know, show him some love. Yep, look at that. Look at that. That's our SP baby. That's our SP. Shout out to SP. And well, then he got a web developing job for Con Cognitive IT Solutions, PVT, LD, LTD. A full time job there, working from September, 29, um, September 2019 <laughs> to July 2021. And, then, and that was for a year and 11 months. And then he, uh, and now both of these jobs was in Indore, Madhya Pradesh, India. Which I don't know if I said this already, but that's the same place that our boy uh, Ajit worked. Uh, I mean, lived, lived. That's where he's from. And then he's a web. Now he's currently a web developer at Digni, Dig and Dig Info. <laughs> I can't believe I was trying to pronounce it like it was a legit word. Dig Info as a full time web developer uh, from July. He started in July twenty twenty one. Same time he got the job to work for Evergrow. This is not a bad thing, guys. Don't look at it as it a bad thing that he has another job while he's working with us. Maybe he just didn't update it, but at the same time, if it, if he doesn't have a, a compete, it's totally cool. It doesn't mean his work for Evergrow Coin is going to be slacking that much. It's, uh, it may not even slack at all, but he's not even the lead developer. Now, if this was a G, then that would be another thing like, okay. That's a little side eye, but he is but uh, SP over here. He's also got another job as a web developer for Dig Info, and he's hey he's there. He's enjoying it, and he's also got the activity of uh, let's look look at the activity, man. He's he's talking about Evergrow Coin. He's talking about it. My fault. I I, I left it. <laughs> But he's talking about Evergrow Coin in his uh, activity, man. He's doing, he loves Evergrow Coin for sure. But he's just, you know, 
He's one of those people that are like, I, I like, I, I like both. I like web developing and being a developer for Evergrow Coin. Maybe he does some blockchain stuff, or maybe he's just sharing his ideas about the blockchain stuff. But that's it for SP today. This is just a little quick review over one of the full stack, de- one of the developers, the full one of the, and he's a full stack developer for Evergrow Coin. And just a reminder, just in case you didn't see my video yesterday on a Jeep, I'm going to try to put a card up there up top so that y'all can go to that video and check that out. But a full stack developer does both the front end stuff, what the user interacts with, and the back end stuff, which is what holds the front end stuff. And it's basically the foundation of the program and of the operating system. Thank you guys for watching. Scripted Legend is signing.